Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, flea market finds number 29. We're gonna go over some amazing finds I found at the local flea market here in Northeast Ohio. The flea market is actually Rogers Flea Market in Rogers, Ohio, um, but I found some really good stuff I'm excited to show you, so let's get right into it. And if it's your first time stopping by the channel, I'm Josh, also go by the name is Pickin' for Profit here on YouTube. Uh, I first wanna say thank you for stopping by and watching the video, and if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, and make sure to click that little bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. All right, so for the first two finds of the day, we found this Yashica IC with a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. This camera, if it's in working condition, goes upwards of 150 bucks. I have not fully tested this, but it does wind, it does shoot, and it's clear of any fungus or mold. So that's really good. Uh, even if I sell this as a parts camera, I'll get about 60 bucks. I paid $7. And the second item I purchased at the flea market from the same vendor was this Nimrod lighter. It slides, I don't know what a Nimrod is, um, but I have sold these in the past, and they bring around 30 bucks or so. I paid three dollars for this item and is missing the little screw in the bottom so this will be a parts only uh lighter but i believe i can get a, at least 20 bucks for this the next two items i purchased uh were from another seller one is this texas instruments ti 84 plus silver edition really good condition really clean no corrosion uh i paid five dollars or no i paid ten dollars for this and on recently sold comps, they sell anywhere from 60 to about 80 bucks. So good score there. And from the same seller, I also found this Nikon EM uh, camera with a Series E 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. This camera is a really good camera. Unfortunately, it is missing the battery cover, so I will be purchasing one of those on Amazon or eBay, uh, whichever place I can find them cheaper. Um, or going through all my cameras and seeing if I can find one that fits. Uh, but this is in working condition. Fires, um, it's super clean, no fungus, no mold, which is what you wanna see when you look through here. There's a little bit of dirt, but nothing major, Something someone can clean that. Um, I paid $7 for this camera as well, and in good working condition, this is about a $100 to $150 camera, and if it wasn't working and I wanted to sell as a parts camera or untested, I could still get $50 for the body and another 50 to 75 for the lens. So make sure to keep out, keep your eye open for old Nikon cameras as well as old Canon cameras, Minolta, some of the big brands. Uh, the money's really in the lenses, but do your research and you can score pretty big on these. The next few items I purchased from the flea market are kind of out of my wheelhouse, but I've been seeing a lot of resellers buy them, so I'm trying to broaden my horizon. So I picked up these three hats. Not sure it's anything good, but if you know anything about hats, let me know in the comments box below. This is a Delco Freedom 2 hat. This is a vintage Cavaliers hat, new with tags. Um, it looks like it might be a kid's hat. And then I got this old, it looks like the old Detroit logo. It is official Major League Baseball hat. Let's see if there's a date on here. There is no date on here. There is a lot of sweat stains, uh, but it is an old official hat. So I thought it was worth a couple bucks. I paid six dollars for all three hats so two dollars a piece let me know in the comment box below if any of these hats uh bring good money and if you sell hats and you know what to price these as this next item i purchased was a total shot in the dark it is a walking stick for like a blind person i have no idea why i purchased it but it was two dollars it has a golf pride grip on it um I don't know, for two bucks, I thought I could make a profit. On eBay, these look like they're selling between 20 and $25. So if you have any information on that, let me know, I'd greatly appreciate it. These next two items I purchased, they were from the same seller. One is this uh, Wii bundle of uh, information packet, like an owner's manual, and the other is this Sony Walkman. I purchased both of these items for $5. This one I just tossed, or I just tossed in the deal um, to put it with a weed that I have that I'm selling. So, oh, I'm not really reselling that. 
But the money is with this Sony Walkman. This is a Sony, what is it? WMFS222 model. It is a cassette and a radio. Um, these go for about 40 bucks, I believe, 30, 40 bucks. I paid five, so great pickup there. Another item I found that I buy in almost every single video is this Polaroid. This is a one-step flash. Um, I paid five dollars for this, and I know I can get at least 25 to 30. These next two items I purchased for a total of eight dollars. This one I paid five dollars for it is the Spider-Man Marvel action set. Not sure if you can see that right there. Um, brand new, sealed. There's the skew on the bottom. On Amazon, this is getting like 40 bucks, I think. Um, eBay, I'm not too sure yet, but for $5, I think I should at least be able to sell this for 20, 25 bucks. And for $3, I got this Dora the Explorer doll. Um, again, I was just scanning barcodes and on Amazon, this was getting crazy money, like 60, 70 bucks. Not sure if that's realistic, but for $3, I'll take a chance. This next item I only paid $5 for. It does need a couple pieces reassembled back on here if I even need to. But it is an old accordion style box camera. This is a Seneca 6B if you want to look that up. Um, for $5 I can't go wrong. I can put these couple pieces back on here, make it a great display piece, and I can get about $40 to $45 uh, at a flea market booth for that. From another vendor at the flea market, I purchased these three cameras. Each one of these, I paid $5 a piece, and I paid $15 for this one. This Canon Power Shot right here, I'm not sure if you can see the model, it is a 120 IS. This sells for about $30 to $40. Bucks. I paid $5 for this. Um, I will test it, but it should work, and for $5, that's a great pickup. Also for $5, I got this other accordion pull-out camera. It is a little rough, but I can still get 10 to 15 bucks at my booth all day for this on a holiday weekend. So, great little shelf piece. But the best find I purchased from that vendor was this camera right here. I paid $15 for this. This is a US Navy GSAP camera, 16 millimeter. This, from my research, mounted on the side of a gun. Um, you can do your own research and let me know in the comment box below if I'm way off or if you have any more information on it, but super cool. Anything military sells really good, and this is selling for about 50 to 60 bucks in this condition. This next item I purchased is a Dymo label writer, um, I believe it's called. This is the Dymo M10. It has an aluminum body, chrome. Um, it has a few of these different reels for different embossing letters. It also comes with uh, five or six of these tape reels and the case. So I paid three dollars for this and in the past I've sold these anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars. This exact model right here, um, I'm safe to say it will bring me $29.99, probably free shipping. Uh, the good thing about this is I can put it in a padded flat rate envelope and that's eight dollars so I should make about twenty dollars profit. And these last two items, or I guess items in this case, I purchased from the same uh, dealer. And I purchased all this sterling silver in these bags. There's some World War II trench art bracelets from the 1940s Australian coins. Uh, it had a price of $64 on it. Um, I'm not sure what I can get. I haven't done any research. But we also have this coral uh, brooch with some sterling silver earrings in here. We have this Bond Boyd brooch, a sterling silver cross, some sterling silver and opal, or uh, onyx earrings, some screw backs, more sterling, sterling bracelet, sterling earrings, sterling earrings, and more sterling earrings. So all of this is sterling. I paid $40 for this uh, clump of sterling, and I know I could at least scrap it for that. I haven't weighed it out, but I will, and I'll put the price up on the screen. Um, but if I part this out, I know I can get a few hundred bucks for it. And the craziest thing I purchased uh, this trip were these box of thimbles. I paid $50 for this entire box of thimbles. So there are eight sterling silver thimbles, similar to this in here. And then there's all these other junk ones. Um, there's a, the Indian oil products. 
There's Churns Gold Ohio Buttering Co. Cincinnati, Ohio. So there's all sorts of cool little advertising in here, but really I bought it was for the eight sterling silver ones. Um, I think I can get my money back easily just on scrapping the sterling silver, but I'll throw some comps up on the screen as well. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That's everything I found at Rogers Flea Market. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and you know what's next. Keep picking and making that money. Peace.